Hey beautiful people, it's Kate here. Welcome to Kate's Space. I want to continue with the Reader's Digest uh, journal that I started and this is the third video using Natalie from Line Dot Arrows Beautiful Digitals with these gorgeous vivid colours. I had a bit of a brain fart, could you say, and decided I wanted to sort of mimic all those beautiful colours with Holosari Silk. I'm not sure that I'm loving what I've done. I think my tabs, I've never done tabs really like this before and I think they all stick out too far. But anyway, I'm gonna continue on uh, and I'll show you where we're at. I think we'd sort of done all our signatures and I'd pop them into the, I was popping them into the book press. I haven't done anything else on the cover at this stage. I've done some work on the signatures. Now, I've put them into what I think is the order I want them in. Uh, and I've numbered them with all these little pieces of paper everywhere. I've put, I have started putting some frills on. And I, as you can see, I've sewn all these tabs on. Yeah, I'm not sure, like I said, but I'm going to keep going and we'll see what we end up with. What I do want to do now is some modeling paste. So I've got that here. I need to choose a stencil. And I don't know whether I'm gonna go with something florally or something less, like something more like that. I'd like to try this one so I'll get that one out I'll also get that one out I don't know if I'm gonna do florals but um, I might but we'll see not those not those mm, I'll get that one out as well okay so what I'll do first is have a play on some of these other pieces of paper that are lying around. Just check because I've got my spatula that, spatula that I like to use. I don't know where my spatula is, so we will have to just make do with what I can find, which is these. I am wanting to... I'm wanting to do my modeling paste onto some of these book pages so I thought I'll practice on these. I will put the modeling paste onto this will do, just pop it onto this. I'm gonna squeeze it onto here and we'll have a little play. This is the model modeling paste. Oh yeah, it's out so it goes rock hard as you can see this is the modeling paste I'm using it's Reeves I just got it at a kind of a craft sewing store and it was cheaper than the other stuff like half the price and it seems to be fine so quite happy about that I'm gonna just have a look at this one. I don't think I've even really tried using this I, it's an interesting design so I'm just gonna run this over the top here like this something that's a bit more a bit bigger a bit more defined oops that move that's why I practice oh, there's a lump under there that's why that's not working out very well yeah no this one this for some reason that book page is on something I think that's not sitting flat okay that was a disaster I'm not sure what happened there oh there's something underneath Oh, there was a lump of something under there. That's why it didn't work very well. So there's that swirly pattern. Um, hmm, I'm not really convinced by any of those. 
Maybe I will go with my favourite flowers. <laughs> I have to go and wash these now. That's the only thing with modelling paste. You can't leave things lying around. So I'll go and wash these and then I will come back. I think I'll go with the trusty Tim Holtz Little Roses one. I'm going to start with this page and hopefully this will go all right. And it's just a matter of remembering where the page goes. Maybe I can put it there and that will remind me. There are roses and flowers in this uh, kit, so this will look this will look fine. Just not sure where I'm going to put this. Uh, go under here and get some more modeling paste. find this stature a little bit harder to use than the one I normally use. And because it's just on a quite, it's not on a really firm, thick paper, it's on quite thin book page. I've done quite a thin layer, I think. Lift it up. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So now we decide whether we want any on the back here. Maybe that way. and put the piece of paper somewhere where I'm not going to smudge it. Okay, so that's that piece. I wasn't sure if I was doing any more. I was thinking of doing some on the music paper as well. I like, I like how it turns out on this sort of slightly older looking paper. So I've got some there I don't really want there. I will do oh, I'm gonna have that on this on here I haven't I'll just go through and see if there's another place where I've put my oh here we go let's just stick with the ones I've marked and I'll do it up here I think Maybe here. Try not to get it everywhere. A little, whoops. A little more than I was planning to do. Let's see how that looks. That's okay. Again, we need somewhere to put. That's a problem. You then have to find places around your room to let it dry. Probably will go in with a heat gun at some point. Okay, so that's that one. So that's what I'll do is I'll go through looking for the spaces that I want to do the modeling paste. 
Right, so I'll put that away for now. Just give that a bit of a clean. Right, I'll put that over there. Tidy that up later. And let's move that so we don't end up with that everywhere. Okay, so let's go back to this. So as you can see, I've started kind of popping things here and there. Oh, these are all already just stitched on. And I'm just wondering if maybe they would have been a little bit better if they had been not sticking out so far, but that's how they are. So, and obviously I'm thinking this is, this is lifted up. So that's one of the ones I've stuck. So I'm thinking I'm just going to cover this with a piece of the digital and just make it into a little bit of a collage bit. It is a particularly miserable day today. I woke up to huge winds and Now it's the wind's kind of settled, but it's raining and it's very grey. So I've got my lights all on to try and make it the lighting good. So yeah, I'm just applying a lot of glue here, a lot of glue stick, and place that just on there, just to give that page a little bit of. Something, and I may put something over there that on that focal point. Here I've got a little ruffle that I've stitched, and I'm going to glue that on. And I'm going to glue this onto this page here. This is some of the ribbon that came in my sister's came, and it had it was wrapping up some of the happy mail that she sent me. And I thought the colour worked really well with this um, Natalie's Digital. So I thought, right, I'm going to use it. So there we go. That's glued onto the edge of that page there. And that's the centre fold of that first part of the book and here we have a little fussy cut which is fussy cut from the it's a fussy cut that I've cut out from the digital and I was thought I might do a little collage down here not sure what other papers I'd like to use maybe something that's been embossed Some embossed paper maybe just a little bit of a maybe not that got some embossed music paper here it's a lovely cream almost just like it by itself I think I'm just gonna pop it there by itself and what I might do, I'm going to put some ink on it. Just around the edges here, get rid of that white edge. So how is everybody today? I hope your weather is nicer than ours. I understand that. I think it's somewhere else in the world maybe Belgium is having terrible floods and rain so I shouldn't complain about our minor little inconvenient weather now what I've done is I've just glued along the edge so if I want to I can either use it as a tuck spot or I can tuck something under there if I find something I think might work as as um adding more layers because at this stage I haven't I haven't really found anything 
but I actually even just like it just simply just like that especially since everything I've done everything else so um, extra and there's more music there what have we got pinned here oh and there's another there's this is another part of the digital that I fussy cut and I'm going to glue I'm simply just going to glue that on there I think again I think I'll just ink the edge around the edge there again you could make this into a little tuck spot but I'm not going to I'm actually just going to glue this on and I think I'll use my glue stick Let's get my gluey pages here that one turn it over get my glue stick I hope everyone's well and um, enjoying their day or their evening whatever time it is that you are watching this whether it's in the weekend or during the week I'm making this ahead of time and it's quite likely that I'm going to be driving up to go and see one of my daughters who lives about a four hour drive from me to go and spend a little bit of time with her which will be nice I don't know just for a couple of couple of days so that'll be good so I thought I'll do a little bit more of this journal if I'm not going to be around to get it done that's right I was thinking maybe doing some modeling paste here I really like that picture and I like the way that color kind of blends in with the oranges here I'm not sure whether I want to put anything on there or not. I'll leave that there and have a think about that. So that's a little bit more done there. That frills glued down. We've got this sort of happening over here that's glued down and a few little decorations on that. So I'm just going to pop that one there. And let's have a look at the second, the second part. Okay, so this is part of the digital as well. And obviously I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little bit of something up here. Whether I wanna just run a line, that line up like that. I quite like that. I mean, we could extend the page or the other thing we could do is make it into a paper, pleated paper ruffle. I don't even know actually which way up this goes and I don't think it really matters so I think I might just go like that and I like the way the colour here this pink my phone's telling me the battery's low so now I can't see on my computer whether I'm in frame or not hopefully I am this pink flower and the pink sari and then the blue and the blue so yeah let's go with that I'm going to glue that on Again, I'm going to give the ink edge a bit of an ink. Let's get rid of that white edge where I've sort of torn it and distressed it a bit. I've got this lovely pink here, so I'm wondering whether I might pop that there. A little bit of pink. simple like that okay so just apply the glue to that and then attach I actually like the ripped part there so do it like that and then I'm going to glue the back of this and attach this to this book page here a bit of decoration mm. and we've got the 
them. Put another layer there, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. Here I've got envelope question mark. So I'll probably maybe get thinking of covering up this with um, an envelope. Got a tuck spot there. Right, we've got another ruffle to glue in. I'm going to do that now. Some of the ruffles I sew and I pleat them and sew them onto the page at the same time, but it's kind of awkward and it's actually easier to to um, to sew them and then glue them on after, I think. So I'm just going to run some glue down where the stitching is. And then place that down that part of the page. I do love the ruffles, but they do bulk up the book quite dramatically. Um, and you'll see that when we... So this is some Pepin wrapping paper, but I really liked the, the botanical images on there. Here's a piece of um, sari silk that I've already sewn on. And I've sewn these pockets. Another little tab there. And a little thing there. That might end up being a little tuck spot, I think. I might just glue it. I don't know if I'll sew it. But that's a little bit more done on that one. A little bit of a the little birthday, vintage birthday book in there. Another tab. This one I've already, oh, see, this is one of the ones I've sewn on. <laughs> the sewing's a bit wonky. So I'm just going to pull that thread through so they're both around to the same side and knot it. And what I might do is just sort my phone out that's telling me telling me that there's a battery problem and then I'll come back. I've put writing space here. So this is, um, I think this is French for the terrible year. So I will probably cover this over with some lined paper. I've still got strings here to tie. I don't know if any of you have like this specific way or plan that you do go through and decorate your journals or I don't really uh, which when you're videoing can make it a bit a bit tricky so I've tried to be a little bit organized but I'm not really and I got a bit excited with thinking oh, I'm going to use all these colorful sari trims that I've got because I really do want to use them. I've had them for a while. And sometimes the things in your head don't translate. We've had that discussion before. This is an old butterfly book that's been coffee dyed. So I haven't really got a plan so much for this part. Done a little bit of um, dry embossing there with an embossing folder that my sister gave me in the Happy Mail. I don't know if it's really very visible, but I really like the way that looks on the vintage ledger. Right, and it looks like I had planned this to go here to pick up the blue in here. And there's also, I don't know if, you, if it looks like it, but there's purple on here as well, so that picks up the purple or mauve lilac in the digital so that's probably what i was thinking so i'm going to glue that to there 
So we are making slow progress. That's pretty par for the course for me. I'm pretty slow. Trying to be a little bit quicker at making decisions and things. But working at your own pace is important. And enjoying the process as well. There's no point just not enjoying it and so I guess this is a little bit of an experiment <laughs> using all these colorful trims and things I love this deep purple one so I'm going to leave that one that like that for now so the fourth one we've got this lovely book page with these gorgeous daisies on here this I lengthened this page with some of the digital I like that and then we've made a pocket here and there's some writing space here here's some more of that German book right here's a little ruffle that needs to be glued on it's just a little snippety one so we'll do that I think my other idea around the sari tabs as well was the fact that my sister <laughs> that Joe has given me so many uh, charms I might actually have a go at putting charms on this one. So we've gone from one extreme with the Reader's Digest of something really, really plain to something a little bit over the top. But, oh well, that's, that's okay. This is a lot of short page. And I, I am looking for something to maybe join on to here. Actually, I'm now just looking at this embossed paper and thinking that would be beautiful. Maybe just attached onto there. And then when you turn over the page, what are you going to see? Yeah, that, oh, we've got, oh, I've done some inking on there. Hmm, not sure about that now because of this big inky patch. Oh, we've got the blue, the blue ledger. Yeah, I thought while I was playing around with the embossing folder that my sister got me that that's a possibility, but I'm not convinced. So I did some embossing on the butter paper, if you can see that, and then you can see the lovely floral image behind it. And I've just made it really torn down the side there. Here's a paper clip. What are we doing here? Okay, so it looks like we're gluing this onto here and covering some of this book page and using this beautiful image from the kit. All these little paper clips now. I'll just put my pin back in my uh, glitter glue so I don't lose that. Right, and we'll ink this. I've given it a little bit of a distress with my um, foot scraper tool and I've torn this edge how I kind of wanted it to be and then I'm going to glue it in here like this so again I think we will be perfectly fine with I'm just wondering we could actually make that into a pocket couldn't we Maybe we'll make it into a pocket, in which case we won't use that glue. We'll use the art glitter glue and we'll just go around the edges. It's always good to have an option to have a bit of a hidden pocket. I'm just gluing around those three edges. And making sure I don't put it over where the binding's going to go. And now we have, excuse me, put the pin back in my glue. Now we have a pocket for something to go in there. It's quite a big pocket, but I think that would be quite neat. Yeah, so that's that. Good, good. Then that's the other side of the butter paper. Again, when you've got the lines there, you can write 
gives good guidance to write. This is one of the pieces of fabric that Joe sent me, which I love. And I thought I'd do a fabric flip since, you know, since I'm going all out with all the bits. I've never, I don't think I've really done a fabric flip before. So I thought, oh, well, now's the time. And there's, I'm just going to tie this knot while I remember. Trim that thread. It's a bit wider than my page. So I'm wondering whether I leave it. I might leave it like that. And I don't know whether to sew it or glue it. What do you all think? And so that's gonna poke, that's gonna come over the top like that, which will be pretty. And also you'll see it down the side. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't mind if it's sticking out the bottom because we've got things sticking out every which way. So, you know, so I might just take the page right out of the signature and I think I'll glue it. I'll start with just some. I don't think this glue will hold it, but it will just hold it in place for now. Oops, wow. It's really gluggy today, this glue. Quite sure what's going on there with that. So I'll just. Give it a bit of a smudge around there. So I don't want too much coming over the top. I think I'd want it about like that. And I'm not sure whether I'll sew along there or not. I don't really want to. I could sew that like that. I might hand, maybe hand sew it or something. But yeah, I think that will look nice. I'm just going to use it, that glue for now and then I might go back with something a bit stronger. I don't want to use that fabric glue because I think it'll show through. So let's pop that back in. And when you lift that up, you've got this lovely picture. I like this image. And there's some blue in there too. So that's why I kind of thought the blue flip there with the pink roses. And we've got this one with a little there and with that was that ink and coffee lined paper oh okay something's happening there that's upside down <laughs> it's okay what have we done it's oh, I've got everything upside down here now that's okay it's just because I've put Oh dear, oh dear. Let's just go back to the beginning. I feel like it's all upside down now. Well, maybe not, maybe I... Okay, that's fine, 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 fine. Modeling paste there, right, so where did this lovely piece go I think it was here is it there I almost think I want it there but yes I think I do like that there better let's have another look you do so many flip throughs when you're just putting it together nothing's set in concrete until it's stitched in <laughs> So, oh, we've got another knot to do here. Modeling paste, we could do that now. We could do that right now. And we could just write 
signature for so we remember where it comes from because that's the other thing remembering where everything came from carefully lift it up that's fine okay and then put that somewhere where it's not going to get knocked over or smudged give these things a wipe oh uh, yep my battery my phone is going to die wonder if we can get through this last signature together just got one more to go so let's have a look here oh, we've got something paper oh we're going to do a lace pocket here over this trim i haven't decided whether to sew that we'll glue that definitely glue this one on yesterday I was like oh I would really love like a big pin board on my door to my craft room studio or whatever you'd like to call it oh whoopsie that was not good and then I could pin like uh, things that I've either made or seen or just ideas and inspiration and so I mentioned it to David and I said do you think that's something we could do there's not much wall space in here because of the shelves it's, it's a pretty small room um, and today he put one up for me so I've got this at the moment very ugly looking brown hessian pin board on the inside of my door for me to start putting things on so I'm pretty excited about that it's pretty nice of him to do that for me today so I'm hoping that will soon be covered with beautiful inspirational things because often I put them away and I don't see them and I forget about them not sure what I'm going to do here and there we go so that's some more work done inside the signatures I have to put the ones I've done the texture paste back on okay I don't know that that is number four I think I swapped them around anyway I still haven't decided on the order but yeah so that's that's how I kind of go about doing it and yes I have gone very overboard with the uh, sari silk and things which so a uh, book that was then once like had heaps of room on it is now a bit bulgy but in actual fact that's that's still quite roomy we've got to make some tags I've cut some this is off one of the pages and I've cut that down because I'd like to make a tag with that one I've still got some more bits and pieces here there's a set of tags that I've cut out I've got an envelope with some with a little notelet card in here which I've embossed that was from Joe and I think those colors and that pattern fits nicely there's some journaling cards here and these little things I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those if anything and then I've done another little fussy cut which I'll probably put somewhere I've got some note paper that I've played around with the embossing on and oh this is a page 
that I've um, not used at this stage. So not sure what I'm going to do with that. Yeah, so there's lots to do still. <laughs> and I'll probably come back and do maybe some tags and journaling cards on video. So if you've hung out with me today, I really pre appreciate it. I hope you're crafting along and that you're going to make a book as well. Probably put some more pockets and things in this. Not too many because it's already getting a bit big. And I don't want to make it look really fat. So there won't be much more going in it. I uh, just have to decide on what we're going to put on the spine and things like that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.